Where's my hat? My hat? My hat? I can't find my hat. What's on your head? Oh, my head. Oh. Well, I wish you'd stop leaving it around like that. Leon. What? You're getting so absent-minded and forgetful. I don't think you even know what day it is. I don't know what today is? Oh, oh, oh don't make me laugh. Today, why, today is, uh, today is, uh, 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 Tuesday, March the 21st. Does it mean anything to you? I should say it does. It means work, 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 work. You don't think those radio stations run themselves, do you? Now, well, let me see. At 10 o'clock, I've got an audition. 11 o'clock, a new client. 11... 30, I've got the masseur. I hope he breaks your neck. Yes, so do I. Now, if he breaks my neck, I can... Go today. But I've only been there 10 years, and I'm always on the go. Leon. What? Does it ever occur to you that I'd like to be on the go once in a while? Oh, all right, all right. Where do you want to go? Well, to a restaurant where there's music, where I can dance. All right, go ahead and dance your pool. Head off, honey. Go down to Kirkwood's restaurant. Got a great band in. I know, I auditioned it. Look, here. Go and buy some flowers for yourself. Buy myself some flowers? Yes. Why, Leon Earl, if you come home someday and find me gone, don't you be surprised. There's a lot of anything to do Now, listen, listen, dear, I'm in an awful hurry. Now, save it, and at dinner time, you can give me the whole routine. Oh, please. Oh, hello, Miss Kelly. Oh, Mr. Earl, I want to ask you about that problem. Oh, please, sorry, look, I'm busy. You ask Mrs. Earl. She knows all the answers. Mr. Earl is so full of gold. Yes, what? and he may go too far. Something wrong? Oh, nothing serious. He forgot that today is our wedding anniversary. But all those radio programs do keep him so terribly busy. I can imagine. It's one of those I want to ask him about. The Oracle of Matrimony. Well, oh, what about the Oracle? People don't really send in those silly letters, do they? Well, of course. Oh, I can't believe that. You know that Mrs. Rivas? The one who is secretary to our Knitting Nuts Club? Mm -hmm. She told me a writer thinks them up and even makes up the answers, too. Oh. Well, we can easily prove that she's wrong. I'd love to. How? Oh. I'll show you. What are we going to do? We'll write the Oracle a letter and send it down by messenger. Then, if he answers us this afternoon, well, that should convince even her. <laughs> Dear Oracle, I am a woman who has been married 16 years today. Oh. Uh, this, it won't go any further. Uh, just a little bit more. I, ow! Oh, dear. Oh, oh, oh. There. That's better, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's a big load off my chest. Get up! I don't know. I don't know. I've been here today. I've been here today. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, Miss Darrell. What is it, Butch? I bring my girl with me today. What for? I mean, uh, what girl? My study. The one you promised to auction on the radio today. Oh, auction. You can't auction a girl on... Oh, I see what you mean, yes. Well, what does she do? Oh, she does dances. Does she sing, too? No, not good. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Now, you take her away and teach her, then bring her back to me. Oh, but Mr. Errol, you promised me, and I promised her. Butch, I'm sorry, but I'm busy today. Say, your head's on a little crooked. Crooked? I'd better give it one of those little manipulations. Now, isn't that what you said? Just a minute. <clears throat> Tell the girl to stay. <clears throat> uh, Miss Abbott, bring in the mail, please. Uh, Mr. Errol, mm -hmm. uh, no funny business at the auction with Bernie today. I got priority. Don't concern yourself. I'll see how she does. Uh, thanks. Mellow head. Now, well, what's all these? Complaints. Tear them up. They're from sponsors. Oh, that's different. Better read them. Hello, boy. Oh, it's you, eh? I'll be looking for you. Why I pay you your salary, I don't know. Trouble, 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 and it's all your fault. Count ten, boy. One, two, three, four, four, all. Quiet, what's the matter with you? There's even more trouble. There can't be any more trouble after this stack. The Oracle of Matrimony won't be here today. What? Why, he goes on the air in six minutes. He's got to be here. The hospital says no. Oh, well, that's different entirely. A ho hospital? Well, what hit him? A mad spouse. Oh, they're dangerous, too, yes. Where did it bite him? Uh, this is not a quiz program. Tell me what happened. The Oracle advised wife to walk out on husband. Yeah. She did. Husband walked in on Oracle. Boom. Bang. Left cross, right cross, red cross. Hospital. Oh, dear me. No Oracle for two weeks. Oh, dear me. Well, that's easy. You do it. Oh, no, not me, boss. I'm just an announcer. Well, this is simple. Anybody can do it. No, I couldn't handle it. It first takes a man of importance. You see, the oracle must have dignity of address and a voice with resonance that will inspire confidence. Yeah? 
Well, who's got all that in three minutes? You have. I have. <clears throat> I have. Certainly, boss. You'd be terrific in just such a spot. Yeah, I'm in a spot, all right. Hear me. You think I can do it? I know you could. Better than the Oracle himself. Yeah. Uh, well, he was a little bit corny at that, wasn't he? Terrible. Let's go. Yeah. This is the Cutie Serial Program. Presents that master of marital mix-ups, the Oracle of Matrimony. This is the bit. <clears throat> This is the oracle of matrimony. Bring your troubles to me and I will show you how to make them grow. Get to uh, make them go. Uh, first letter, please. Dear Oracle, I'm a woman who has been married 16 years today, but is still attractive and able to enjoy life. However, I'm married to an inconsiderate, bald-headed husband who neglects me. He is not as young as he used to be, and his disposition has become very irritable. I have a chance to escape by running away with a young dancer who jitterbugs beautifully. What shall I do? My dear Mrs. Ellie, your tragic case calls for special attention. Seems to me your husband is a washout. He has slipped. So what are you waiting for? Grab your young man and go dancing through life. That this is Ellie, is my message to you. And now a word from our sponsor. That proves it. Wait till I tell that, Mrs. Rebus. No, that voice sounded like Leon. Why, it couldn't be. The Oracle probably has a cold. You are just hearing the 93rd presentation of the Oracle of Magic. sponsored by the Cutie Serial Company. Hundreds of people well, owe their freedom and happiness to the Oracle. I wonder why Thousands I know him. their good health an invigorating breakfast L pickup through cutie cereals which have proven in their short time L on the market to be the greatest product of its kind ever offered to the American public. No. Boxed without the aid of human hands. Manufactured in Leon Arrow! Why, that's me! And that's my wife! When I told her to leave me for an open of it... The idea of writing a letter like that. Who? My wife. Never mind who. Get Miss Errol on the phone. Yes, sir. Uh, inconsiderate. Irritable, am I? And bald-headed. I... Well, not quite yet. Somehow with that girl. Hurry up with that phone call. Boss. What? You ruined the program. Have you gone mad? Mad? I'm on fire. And you're fired. This liver. Mrs. Ellie, my wife wrote that and you heard what she said. I'm not as young as I used to be. I'm not as young as I used to be. Well, give me my bag. Yes. You know what? Oh, what I'm oh, wait a minute, boss. Count ten. One, two, three, four, ten. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Don't lose your head. Why, I'll lose my head if I want to. Then you lose your wife, too. Yes, yes, yes. But she's going to leave it uh, with a little bug, isn't she? A bug? Yes, one of those gypsy bugs. Gypsy, one of those dancers. Now, look, I had the same trouble with a wife of mine. I found a way to bring her back to me on her knees. Yes? Where is she now? She's married to a wrestler. Oh, oh God. That's the only way. What's the only way? To make her jealous of you. Oh, oh calling me. Oh, now, wait a minute. I heard all about me handling. <laughs> yes, you handled the article, didn't you? Now look where I am. But I know this will work. What will work? Look, we've got a girl to put on an act in front of your wife. What kind of an act? Well, to pretend she's been madly in love with you for years. Oh, no, 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 no. I'd never hear the last of it. Look, boss, when a woman finds she has competition, she forgets everybody else and concentrates on holding the man she's got. Yes. Your wife oh. He's out with a blonde. Yeah, tell him I out with a blonde. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. That's all in the build-up. Well, where's the blonde? Well, we look in the outer office. There's always a few hanging around there. I was there first. Come on. Wait a minute. Which one? It's got to be the one in the middle. She's just the type to make a wife turn green. Mm-hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe we better count Ken. Now, look. Mr. Errol's office. Oh, yes, Mrs. Errol. Oh, he's furious. He took the Oracle's place today and something happened on the program. Oh, he did? Oh, not really. Oh, well, he and Harry are cooking something up. I'll find out what it is and call you. Yes, Mr. Errol. Miss Edwards, send the girl in the black and white dress. You know, the one in the middle there. Yes, sir. You may go in now, Miss LaPierre. Hello, I'm Laverne LaPierre. 
I know who you are, Miss L. Oh, she knows who I am. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Never mind. Go ahead. <clears throat> well, uh, now, uh, how would you like to make $20, lady? What do I have to do? Oh, just put on an act. Oh, okay. If you get a fan, I'll fix my veil. You, you what? These, these, my veil. This is the costume I dance in. Until it blows away. Until it blows away? Oh, wait a minute. We don't have been blowing away. I mean, that's, it's not that kind of an act. Listen, uh, can you make another woman jealous? I always have. What woman? My wife. Sounds screwy. Now, listen, all you have to do is come down to my house, make violent love to me in front of her. Are you nuts? Well, I'm afraid to bet on that. Now, <clears throat> what do you say? I say she'll probably crown the two of us. If she does, you get double. Okay. What have I got to lose? I've been in court before. Mm. Besides, I think he's cute. Oh, shucks. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. You don't have to start practicing now. Hey, hey don't rub it off. The, the, the wife, let us see it. See, I think you got something there. Well, we're all set. Now, wait a minute. Don't you think I ought to, ought to fight her off to make it look good? But don't pay any attention to me. No, oh, don't worry. When I give, I really give. I think you better give him one more lipstick right here and smear it. Listen, don't go too... Oh, oh gracious me. Goodbye, cutie. See you later. <sighs> Did he hire you, Sugar? Well, not exactly, but I won't be able to have dinner with you tonight. Why? I'm putting on an act. Yeah. It's confidential. I'll see you tomorrow. Snail lipstick. A double crosser. Is that you, Leon? <coughs> yes, dear. <coughs> Did you have a hard day, dear? Uh, I've had a day I'll never... <coughs> uh, day, you know, just average, just an average day. <coughs> uh, <coughs> uh, smell something funny around here, dear? Well, the gas has been leaking today. Look at your forehead, Leon. Forehead? For what do you mean, forehead? It's, uh, huh? Why, it's all smeared with red. With red? Yeah, me, yeah. Oh, <clears throat> well, maybe it's uh, lipstick. That's what it is. Lipstick. Who not ever a heard of lipstick that color? Well, it's lipstick. It's that red pencil you're always playing with down at the office. on your shoulder? Well, yes, I think it's powder. Must be powder. That's what it is. Face powder. Why, nothing of the sort. It's dandruff. Dandruff? On me? Yes. You've been neglecting your hair tonic lately. Oh. Why? Well, if it's dandruff, brush it off with these. Leon! You darling! You didn't forget our anniversary after all. And stocking. Just what I needed. I have something for you, too. It's upstairs. I'll go and get it. <sighs> oh, hello, Miss Kelly. Oh. Talk to Leon a minute. I'll be right back. All right. Oh, Mr. Errol. Yes? You know I owe you and the Oracle an apology? The Oracle? Why? What for? I thought that program was faked. Until Mrs. Arrow proved that it wasn't by writing that letter. Letter? What letter? The one he answered today. You know. The one about the bald-headed husband and the dancer. You mean that she... Uh, oh. Then there isn't any dancer? Of course not. We did it to make Mrs. Rebus eat her words. Oh. Didn't we, Arlene? Oh. oh, my darling, I couldn't stay away from you any longer. Let go, you let, let go. There's something I want to say. I'll say it for you. Sure. Mrs. Errol, I love your husband and he loves me. I'm not Mrs. Errol. That's Mrs. Errol. You, 
You will reprobate. And I'm a witness for you, Arlie. Now, listen to you. You don't understand. Let's call the whole thing off. It's been a mistake. Uh, yes, it's been a mistake to wait. Oh. I should have told you sooner. Oh, oh darling. Now, wait a minute. Now, don't... Now, Arlie, will you get her off my lap a minute and I'll explain everything. Let go, will you? Oh, it's all too plain. After 16 years to be thrown over for another woman. I don't know what to say. Of course you don't. But I do. Think of his love for me and... And think of the, uh, of the children. But... Yeah, the children. No, no, no. Oh, how terrible. Oh, now, look here. Now, you get out of here. I'm afraid I'll have to throw you out. Beat me if you want to. But it won't change my love. Oh. Mrs. Earl, please give him up. Please let me have him. No, Arlene, don't you do it. Don't you do it, Arlene. I tell you what we'll do. Give me a coin. A coin, yes, there's a coin. Right there. I'll match you for it. Yeah, you match for me. Oh, say, what do you mean you're matching for me? What do you think I am, a cigar or something? Pass for this. Heads. You win. Oh. Gee, cutie, you're mine. Now, wait a minute. Don't just stand there and do something, will you? Well, what can I do? After all, it's fate. Oh, oh. You snake in the grass. Taking advantage of an innocent little girl like my friend. When I get through manipulating on you, 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 Well, listen, honey, after seeing that now, I, I, I know you love me. Well, of course I do, you goose. Well, maybe I'd better go back to the start and explain everything. Don't bother. I've been ahead of you all the way. Hello, boss. How are we doing? Oh, no, 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 no. He belongs <coughs> to me. Now, 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 wait a minute, boss. Wait a minute. Count ten. One. Seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs>